Okay, so this is now completely dry. We have very nice ridging on here, so it's going to definitely hold a lot of epoxy. So what I'm going to do is I told you guys I was going to put a decal in here that said Merry Christmas from the Murphys. However, I just really like just the simple Merry Christmas. So sorry, Mom. Um, but we're going to get this on here. And this is actually a um, removable vinyl that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And I really like it because it's it's not completely op like opaque you can kind of see through it a bit um as far as like with being on a clear background so i think the lights will still kind of really make it pop so we're just going to because it's not wanting to stick to my transfer tape slowly peel Come in. There we go. All right. So I'm just gonna. I have to stand this up. Sorry, you guys. I can't see. I can't see. So now it says Merry Christmas on here. Throw that in the trash. Okay, so I have all of my, I've got my epoxy already mixed over here. And I've basically kind of gonna just go through and do section by section. So this ends up becoming a kind of fun paint by numbers. So um, I'm gonna basically start, I mean, it doesn't really matter where, but um, I'm gonna film these two whites that where the white, hubcap pieces would be and then do the tires and then yeah so bear with me because this is going to kind of be like a weird hodgepodge of color order here um so i have just i mean just barely any epoxy mixed um to do this i'm going to just add just this is marbu's just plain white alcohol ink to my epoxy and that is not enough. That's better. Okay, so you can do this several ways. Um, because I have such a wide space, I'm literally just going to do like this. So like I said, I mixed you barely use epoxy on this type of a project. All right, look at that. One little drop is all I needed. And if you feel like you overfilled it, it's very easy to go back in if you have these little pipettes and you can actually suck some of the epoxy out and just put it off to the side if you want. Um, but I'm gonna use it to fill in some of these tighter spaces. So, Moving on to the next one, which is the black. Like I said, I just kind of guesstimated on like how much epoxy I'm gonna use for all of this. There's no exact science here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do, so I'm using charcoal um, mica powder, which is just our black mica powder. Now, and you can see it's all over my hands now for the tires. Give you a really nice black, like a good, very deep black. Oh my gosh, this stuff is like <laughs> all over my hands now. Yay. No problem. Okay. So for the black, I do have pretty decent space here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it anyway. No harm. Okay. So I'm just again, ah, oh, it's freaking me out. Okay. Never mind. We're going with the pipette. So the pipette will actually suck the epoxy up into it, and then you can just 
go on ahead in here and fill it in. you're going to just do this around the entire project. So now we have two tires done. Set that right there, move that there. Okay, so I just realized something. I actually need like a, okay. <laughs> the truck itself is gonna be red. And then I forgot about this the, I guess it's the wheel well part of the truck, which would be a darker color. So I know what I'm gonna do. <whistles> Crafty. I don't need a whole, whole bunch of this. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is take O negative, which is the red I'm using. And I'm gonna stir that all up. And I'm going to actually use the black stick because I'm gonna add a little bit of black epoxy, to the, uh, black mica resin to this to darken this. I need it darker. This is why I love doing this stuff because it's like a weird mad scientist project here. did not darken it up enough, which means I have to open this up again. I'm afraid to put the lid back on. Do, do, do. There we go. All right, so now I have a nice dark, dark, dark red for the wheel well. Ooh, that's actually a very pretty red. Okay, um, because I want the truck to be a Christmas red. So we're gonna go, ooh, that's so pretty. Okay. <laughs> Going to repurpose things. So now we're just going to go again. It turns into a paint by numbers kind of thing here, which is something I love. Kind of takes a lot of the guesswork out of what you're doing. And you can always print yourself out like a, um, 
kind of like a color chart. So you know like this is what goes in what slots. Okay, set that there. I need to do a little bit of an epoxy drag here. All right. Did that now. So we've got the darker part finished. Oh, that color's gorgeous. Okay. I'm so excited, you guys. I love doing these. I started doing these last week on a whim that this even would look like stained glass. And it does, and it makes me so happy. Because now I can make these for basically every holiday known to man. And also just fun ones for like birthdays and stuff. And now I have charcoal all over my hands, so my hands look filthy. Okay, so. All right, now we're going to go in and start doing the bottom here, which was going to be this one. So I want this to look like snow as much as I can. So I'm actually gonna use quartz. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite white mixes. I just love how it's got a very nice shine and sparkle to it. Plus being that it's a rainbow type of glitter, it's gonna be able to see through on the backside. Oh, so gorgeous, so gorge, so gorge as my daughter would say. I love when I have bigger space so I can just use a popsicle stick. And if you wanted to, you could add um, white alcohol ink to this to make it more, more white and less sparkly. But because I like sparkle, and so does my mom, sparkle is what we're going with. And you can, I mean, you can, again, you can use any of the rainbow type glitters that, you know, like a cheat glitter to do with these because again, the light will show through the backside. And um, the same thing goes with the alcohol inks. You can do it just with just alcohol ink, but you're gonna have very faint colors. And like I showed you guys on the pumpkin um, block that I did with the leaves, there, I mean, you can see the color, but it's not like really, really visible. Um, so I do suggest at least mixing a glitter with it or, <laughs> I almost dropped that, or um, one of the mica powders, or you can even add just the Gangsters or the Divas, which is that really, really, really fine um, glitter, which is holographic. So it just adds like a little extra sparkle. And that's what I did on all of the other little faux stained glass pieces I've done. But I've also used like beach foam and I use pumpkin and pineapple on the um, candy corns. Okay, so now we've done what's the snow. So we're gonna set that one off to the side. Drop my hat in. Okay, oh, so pretty. Okay, so that was using quartz to make the base there on the bottom. Super beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead and start filling in the truck. And so I've got, there it is, right in front of me. The truck is just gonna be O negative mixed in. That is way too much. Okay, so. This is such a beautiful Christmas red. Okay. All 
All right, so we're gonna fill in every bit of the truck except for the two windows. And again, I'm gonna, in the bigger spaces, just fill this in with the popsicle stick. Okay, so I've done now the truck. And that's, I mean, come on, that's beautiful. One nice, nice red pickup truck. So I'm gonna just, I just realized too, I did not make a blue for the windows, but I have this white here. So what I'm gonna do, Lot. So what I'm going to do is try to mix some blue in here. Let's see. I'm just gonna add some blue alcohol ink and I'm gonna use Marabou's. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be too, too blue. Just made a lot, a light blue. Way too blue. So, lighten it up with more white. Still not gonna do it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add snow caps. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Just kidding. I have some, it's really pretty sitting over here. Which of course we all know, cause it's really pretty. So we're gonna just go ahead and use this color. A little bit more blue than I wanted, but I don't care. Could have just done clear and it would have been just fine. There we go. Blue. All right, so now we're going to do the green on the Christmas tree. To use that to do the green, I'm going to use hmm, uh, mint condition. Blue, sorry, mint condition. So we have this cup here already mixed. Again, of epoxy. But 
lightness sealed. Which is a nice green, but I think it's a little too light. So I'm gonna mix in a touch of slate, which is kind of more of like a sprucey green. I am making such a mess. And that's just gonna darken it up just a little bit, which is perfect. Okay, so I have a lot of little detail lines in here. So I'm actually gonna do the pipette, not that it's like necessary, but for doing this, I don't wanna mess up any of these little detail, like accent lines. All right. Oh, this is coming together so well. I'm so excited. Just sounded like my kid. I'm so excited. All right. Come on. Trying to fill up and it's slow. So slow. All right. So now we're going to come in here. Now again, this is why it's fun. It's just, it's like a weird paint by numbers.
All right, so now the tree is finished. All right, so we've done the tree, and now we have to do this whole section up here, as well as this little spot in between. So, I really had a hard time figuring out what to do with the top part because I wasn't, I don't want it to be white. I just want it to have just like a little bit of a shimmer. So I have this mixed here and I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of snow caps to this and call it done. So they look like little snowflakes floating. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, so because of how much space I have, I'm legit just gonna pour this on here. And there you have it, one completed holiday box that says Merry Christmas on it. Just let this cure, let this fully cure, especially before you flip it over and do anything to the back side of it. But there it is, all done. So I will come back to you guys once this is completely dried and we will um, put some lights in it and show you guys how it looks. Okay, so we have finished the Christmas faux stained glass block, which I'm trying to pick up for you guys. And here it is, and here it is, nice and lit up. These are super adorable. I'm enjoying making these, mostly because you hit a point where you kind of have too many tumblers of your own. And I've hit that point because I think right now I have about 50 tumblers in my kitchen um, and throughout my house because I have some of them just on display. But um, these are great, because I can put this on my kitchen counter and it sit out for the entire holiday season. And then the cool thing is, which I haven't done the backside yet, but I'm going to today, um, I'm gonna do like a honeycomb on the background, um, the back of the block. So you can just take this up there for a whole month or however long you want to keep it up, flip it around to the other side, and they're great because it's a nice little night light. These are great for teacher gifts, your friends, your family. Put it one at your desk at work. I mean, they're just a nice, cute little light. And again, it's, I just had the little battery powered twinkle lights in here. The fairy lights is what they call them, I guess. But um, I did, however, I told you guys I love these. And as you'll have seen, I showed you these earlier in the video. So I have my Halloween one, which I did candy corn. And this one is all glitter. Uh, the only time that I didn't use all glitter is on the white where I added white alcohol ink. But this was using salt and pepper, pineapple, pumpkin, and beach foam. And I mean, it's great because you can still see through the light. And then on the other side, like I showed you guys before, I did the candy canes with the little bow on it. And again, something very cute that I can keep up during a holiday, like during Halloween, and then switch it around to the candy canes. And then, of course, the big one that I did, which of course is this gorgeous pumpkin. And I really love it. It's really, it's just a nice classic fall pumpkin with the leaves. This one was done with all alcohol ink on the leaves and the, the blank space. And then this was using koi and saffron on the pumpkin. But on the other side, I did the Christmas tree and it's just nice. So now I have three Christmas ones that I can put up throughout my house, but they're a lot of fun. It's super easy to do. I mean, I, I can finish one whole side in a day and then the next day, so like on the truck one, I'm just gonna have to do the honeycomb on the today, which the honeycomb alone is gonna be quite the task to draw, but that's okay, I'm up for the challenge. So 
I really hope you guys like this video. We will have the Marabou Relief Paste available on our website tomorrow. And we have several different colors. There's black, white, clear, silver, glitter gold, glitter silver. There's so many different ones. So you can get really cool different designs with all of the relief paste to make yourself your very own faux stained glass block. Um, I actually even have one that I'm actually, I just started last night and I know it looks kind of a weird thing, but this is a poppy flower. And I was like, oh, it'd be really cute to make it into like a stained glass frame. And I can do whatever I want with this after it's finished. But oops, just playing around. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do this on. I have not tested using um, this stuff on acrylic uh, yet, just because I already had the glass blocks. Um, but I do plan on trying it on acrylic sheet, like sheets, just so I could do, because like Hobby Lobby has these really cute signs that you can hang up and they have acrylic on them and you can just, you know, make your own stained glass for your window or however you want. So this is going to be really cool craft shows for those of you who have craft shows coming up. They're simple. They're easy. You could probably charge easily $30 for the giant, like for the big one, like I did on this pumpkin one. Um, easily at least $30 on that. Um, but again, I haven't calculated out the cost and stuff on this, but I mean, you're barely using, you know, more than two ounces of epoxy per side. So, um, and that was on, that's on a big one. Um, so yeah, so I'm really glad I was able to do these for you guys so you can see them add another thing in your arsenal of epoxy and resin work. And I'm looking forward to really seeing what you guys come up with because the thing is that you guys can make doing this using stencils and stuff. It's going to be just incredible to see and I'm really excited. So um, for those of you who haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to this vid to our channel. Um, we're trying to get more and more videos up as we go. I've got a few new ones coming up, which I've got to do a snow globe, which is going to be really fun because I actually have never made a snow globe. So I'm going to get that one done. Um, with some trial and error, <laughs> but that's the whole point, right? We get to all learn together how to do these. So um, if y'all have any questions or anything, please just comment below. I will make sure to answer it as quickly as possible. And if you have any other questions about Glitter Chimp and different colors coming in stock, go to our Facebook page and go to Glitter Chimp on Facebook for the group. And you can post whatever kind of questions you have about what glitter you need or anything, or you can always email us at info at glitterchimp.com. But thanks again, guys, for watching. I can't wait to see what you guys create. And I hope you guys have a great day.